Hi everyone, let me give you two data points why you should watch every second of this video. Number one, take a look at this chart for just a second. This is Google search trends from November 2024. See these two lines? Notebook LM versus US elections during election month from entire world. If you understand the significance of US elections in the entire world, you'd know how popular Notebook LM is now. Look at these spikes. These are not just data. That's millions of students, researchers, and professionals discovering what might be the most transformative AI application of 2024. Data point number two. I've been pushing Notebook LM to its limits for several months, interacting with numerous users and exploring its capabilities. I have shared a minimum of five pro tips and gotchas at various points in this video that are not covered in Google's documentation or not talked about anywhere else you won't want to miss, so stick around. Now this is not a get-rich-quick with AI scheme. Please continue only if you want to genuinely become better at your what you do and join the top 1% in your fields during this AI revolution. Let's begin by understanding the fundamental concepts behind Notebook LM before diving into the product itself. For those who do not know what Notebook LM is, Google's Notebook LM is an AI-powered research assistant that helps users synthesize information from various sources, including PDFs, Google Docs, and YouTube videos. It offers features like document summarization, question answering, idea generation, and audio overviews, which convert documents into engaging, podcast-style audio discussions. I have given the link to the product in the description. Highly recommend trying it out today. We'll explore the key artifacts, their interactions, and the step-by-step -step process of creating your desired output by processing all the information you input into Notebook LM. In Notebook LM, you start by creating a notebook. Each notebook contains your set of sources, and within it, you'll create output notes and audio overviews using these sources. The process consists of three main steps. Step 1. Curating your data sources. Step 2. Conducting iterative research to analyze source information and create research notes. Step 3. Producing your final research output. Everything begins with you configuring and curating the data. Notebook LM directly supports Google Slides and Google Docs from Google Drive, offering additional features we'll discuss later. You can upload markdown files and PDFs from your local drives or the web. You can also directly link to websites containing blogs or news articles for your research. However, Notebook LM won't work with paywalled content or sites requiring email access. As a workaround, you can copy and paste content into free text notes. Note that for websites, only visible text is pulled. Images and videos aren't included in your research. YouTube serves as another valuable source, primarily utilizing Google-generated transcripts rather than the video itself. Videos must be public, and transcripts typically take 72 hours to generate after upload. If Notebook LM fails to read an available transcript, you can manually copy and paste it as free text notes. Free text notes, which we've mentioned several times, can include any text you want to incorporate into your research. For students, this might include lecture notes, research findings, and brainstorming content. Audio files like MP3s can be valuable sources if you want to incorporate podcasts or interviews into your research. While Notebook LM claims to be multimodal, its support is selective. It doesn't pull images and videos from websites, but supports audio file input. It effectively extracts information from images and charts in docs, slides, and PDFs, making it a mixed bag of capabilities. As you add sources, Notebook LM copies the data to its internal storage, where it becomes static. The system likely creates embeddings and indexes to efficiently extract relevant content when you query later. Remember that there's no real-time synchronization between your source and Notebook LM. Changes in source files, videos, or websites aren't automatically captured. They must be manually deleted and re-imported. The only exception is Google Drive, where you can use the click to sync with Google Drive option to manually sync without recreating sources. During curation, Notebook LM generates a high-level summary of your data, completing the curation step. In the iterative research step, you dive deep into your data sources, extracting themes and discovering patterns by connecting information across various sources. Imagine being a researcher who needs to analyze every line in dozens of research papers to find correlations. This step offers a chat experience with Notebook LM, including predefined LLM prompts. You use natural language to break down complex concepts, create study guides, find correlations between different data sources, and transform 
content into various formats like blog posts or video scripts. All your research work is saved as intermediate notes, which can become new data sources, allowing you to iterate through your research by feeding outputs back as inputs at each stage. In the final output production step, you create notes that represent your final deliverables. For a research student, this could be a thesis outline or presentation. For a content creator, a video script. For a business owner, actionable items to improve their business. The podcast or audio overview feature is a unique output option, creating engaging dialogues between two hosts. It's perfect for consuming information across all sources or for podcast creators looking for an easy way to generate content. While customization options are currently limited, we'll explore these in real-world demos. Interestingly, you can also use the audio overview as a source for this notebook or another. While there's no direct integration to export to Google Docs or Slides yet, you can manually copy the content to your preferred destination. I'm confident Google is actively working on expanding these capabilities. Unlike traditional LLMs, Notebook LM never hallucinates. It functions as a meticulous research assistant who has thoroughly internalized your source materials and can creatively reshape this information while maintaining complete factual accuracy. So every insight, analysis, and output is directly traceable to source documents, and when information isn't present in the provided materials, Notebook LM explicitly acknowledges these limitations rather than making assumptions. We'll see a live demo of this one as well. Now we're diving into Notebook LM with a real world example that will show you exactly how this powerful tool can transform your research process. Meet Copper, an environmental science student who's been tasked with creating a presentation on plastic pollution. Sound familiar? We've all been there. Tons of materials, facts spanning decades, lecture notes everywhere and countless sources to sift through. It's overwhelming, right? Well, that's where Notebook LM comes in to save the day. Let's watch how Copper tackles this assignment step by step. First, Copper creates a new notebook and starts adding sources. A comprehensive slide deck about plastic pollution, complete with charts showing top polluting companies and countries. An insightful interview with Dr. Imogen on investigating plastic pollution. Copper had saved these two files in her Google Drive earlier. Copper's professor also recommended blog from the UN Environment Program, so she is adding them to the sources. and a YouTube video titled Ending Plastic Pollution by 2040. A podcast on ending plastic pollution by 2040. And a detailed PDF report. A global assessment of marine litter and plastic pollution. Now imagine how much time copper would have to go through to all of these material to research on this subject and refer even more material to understand complex topics referred here. Now watch this. As soon as these sources are uploaded, Notebook LM automatically creates summaries and identifies key topics from each source. You even get quick previews of the slides right here in the interface. Notebook Guide is usually your first place to start looking into things once are doing uploading sources. It has some predefined prompts for generating FAQs, study guide, table of contents, timelines, and briefing docs. Feel free to start with any of these depending on your scenarios. While we start doing the research, let's kickstart the audio overview generation process so we can listen in when it's ready. This produces some amazing quality podcasts between two hosts on your topic across all sources. If Copper wants to listen into the whole summary while doing other things, this is a great option and becomes very handy when she is doing the research. You can also customize the podcast creation to restrict to specific source, key topic, or target audience. Note that you can't control the time length. Now let's see Notebook LM research action. Copper starts with some basic questions. What is plastic pollution and its impact on environment and human health? Look at how Notebook LM pulls relevant information from all sources, creating a comprehensive answer.
As we discussed in our previous section, each of the research work Copper does will be saved as intermediate notes. Note that chats are not saved in Notebook LM between sessions, so the only way to preserve your research work is to save them as notes. Hope that tip saves you some time. Here's where it gets interesting. Copper wants to understand health impacts specifically. Watch what happens when Copper asks for a table of health issues with correlation scores to plastic pollution. Pretty impressive, right? All this data, neatly organized and cited. Notice that the correlation score I asked for is not directly available in the sources, but this is more of a derived information that Notebook LM is able to create by applying its pre-trained knowledge in similar contexts. This is not really considered hallucination, I'd think. Let me know what you think in comment below. But I'm really impressed with its analysis, honestly. Now, Copper continues her research. When she asks about top contributors to plastic pollution, Notebook LM can actually extract data from charts in the slides. It identifies both top countries and companies, complete with citations. Here's something crucial in ensuring Copper's research is grounded, and there is absolutely no hallucinations in her research work. When Copper asks about Walmart's pollution numbers, Notebook LM admits it can't find the specific information in the sources. Instead of making things up, it suggests ways to research this further. That's intellectual honesty at its finest. Copper moves on to doing some more research on impact to marine life due to plastic pollution and saves the notes. Time for the final step. Copper needs to create a 10-slide presentation. Copper could either use all these intermediate research notes along with main sources, or just the research notes to produce the final output. But here is a pro tip again. If you build your work on top of intermediate research notes, then citations on your final output refers back to these intermediate notes, not to actual source. And it's a bit difficult to track the source backwards. Really hope Google is listening to this. While we are here, I also want to quickly show you how the sources reference look different between chat response v's saved notes. It's definitely better when you are reviewing responses in chat than trying to look back later at notes again. Hope Google fixes this soon, but wanted to make sure you are aware. Watch how Notebook LM compiles all the research into a structured presentation outline. As I mentioned earlier, there is no direct export functionality here, but you can simply copy and paste this to docs or slides. Or even better, take the text to AI presentation tools like Gamma and get presentations created in minutes instead of hours. Before we wrap up, let me share two more game-changing tips. Tip number one. So we already noticed that Notebook LM captures all of the information from your source into its own format. Now, when you are reviewing, if you need to understand some complex topics, you can simply select the text and ask Notebook LM to break it down for you. I found it really useful. Hope you do too. Tip number two. We understand that Notebook LM doesn't automatically sync your data sources changes. But if you are working with Google Docs or Slides, you can use the Click to Sync with Google Drive feature to update your sources. Just remember, you'll need to regenerate any notes you've already taken from the old version. But for all other sources, unfortunately, you need to delete and re-import them. Now, finally, let's take quick listen into the podcast. Welcome to our deep dive. Oh, thanks for having me. You've provided a fascinating collection of research on marine litter. It really is a deep dive. Particularly focused on plastic pollution. Note that you can also download the audio overview if you would like to use it for your content creation. You can simply publish these podcasts or, you know, create a YouTube videos with avatars, etc. Now, 
on to our next use case where Bill, our small business owner, running an e-commerce shop called Eco Essentials, where he sells eco-friendly products. Bill just reviewed the sales progress from this Google Slides. In addition, he also had his team pull the customer reviews for all his products. Working with a partner, Bill also obtained customer reviews of his competitor products in the same eco space. Note that these two sets of reviews are stored in the same Google Doc as two different tabs, and Notebook LM is able to pull both of them. Now, without digging deep into any of these material, Bill starts with an open-ended question to Notebook LM to see what it comes up with. Now, just to show you what's in the sales data, you can clearly see that bamboo toothbrush sales are clearly struggling in the past three months or so. And in fact, there is a clear correlation between the sales and customer reviews that's talking about the quality and durability of the brushes. Notebook LM is able to come up with a similar conclusion that bamboo toothbrushes are struggling and Bill needs to focus more on customers' negative feedback. Consider investing in research and development to improve toothbrush design and materials. Measure progress by tracking customer reviews and ratings specifically for bamboo toothbrushes. In addition to that, Notebook LM also suggests to continue monitoring customer feedback for all products, even though they are doing well. There are areas of improvements. It's also coming up with new ideas for Bill, such as posting customer testimony in the website and capitalizing good products to create variations of them.